Today I will be testing the silver per hour and fame per hour of a tier 5 black zone. That's right, we're going to the black zone. Now this is something that has been advised on Reddit for new players and I wanted to make sure that it's not exactly correct because I don't think farming black zones is worth doing. Uh, the build suggested was this here with the druidic staff and uh, mercenary jacket, hunter hood, soldier boots. They forgot to mention the offhand, so I'm using a torch. Uh, regular cape, again, this set is only 45,000 silver. You can see I've got plenty of silver to replace that if I die. No potion, I am using a cabbage soup. Now, the difference between a new player and me is that I'm 100 spec in all of these items. So this 4.1 druidic staff will be basically a tier 8 druidic staff um, in comparison if a new player was to wield that. They mentioned to go 5 to 10 tiles away, so I'm going to be going 5 tiles away to Dry Vein Riverbed, and uh, part of this test is, can we even make the journey? And the other part of the test is, is there mobs to even kill? And, like, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna cut anything, I'm not gonna fast forward. You're going to ride with me the entire way there. You're going to see that part of the reason why this is just no bueno, why this is just not that good, is the travel time. I'm having to travel five zones away, and yes, I am invisible on a horse. I'm not going to be using a faster mount. Why would I bring a faster mount? That would be silly. So I can maybe get two zones away before my invis runs out. And then I have to fight for my life to survive the black zone. And I really want to loot whatever that is. But that would remove my invisibility. And that would also, you know, it would just be a big problem. A real big problem. So here we are. We're going into the black zone. Now you cannot faction flag in the black zone. But instead of earning faction points, we will be earning uh, might and favor, but not by much. I've made a previous video that explains even if you're farming a tier 8 black zone, you would have to kill thousands of enemies to get enough might uh, for certain rewards. Uh, compared to yellow zone fame farming, which when faction flag, you'd only have to kill like 400 bobs or something. So it's, <laughs> it's a huge difference between the reward chests, and the reward, reward chests are mostly the same, though there is a chance for a mammoth drop in the uh, black zone ones, which, you know, yeah, there's a bigger jackpot, obviously. That's part of the allure of doing black zone stuff, but do you, do you honestly, whenever you go to a casino, for those of you over 18, do you go to the high roller section of the casino and dump in $100 for a single casino spin? No? Okay, then why would you do it in a video game? Uh, like, yeah, I could pull full point eight three, you know, worth 50 million silver and run to a black zone and farm it. But most likely, at some point, I'm going to get murdered by 20 people. And that's the reason people don't go to the high roller parts of the casino, because they want to have a, as much fun for as long as time as possible. And now I am vulnerable to being attacked, as my invisibility has run out. So I have to be very careful and diligent and make sure that no one is following me. Now, I am playing on the West server, which has a, a massive population drop, by the way, because of the East server. A lot of people move to East because of their ping. Also, I'm playing during a weekday, and I'm playing during off hours. It is 7 in the morning UTC right now. I really should have played maybe 6 hours ago, which would have been more ideal. But, uh, you know, I... Let's be a little bit real. We don't want to make it too easy, right? So, we are, what, three? We are now three zones away. Two more to go. I could also farm here. This is technically a tier 5 zone, isn't it? This is a tier 5 zone, so I could farm here uh, for a little while. If it looks peaceful, that's not too bad. But the guide does say to go five zones away. The further away from town, the better. And you can see there are some enchanted mobs, but I'm... I heard what sounded like... Okay, that was a wisp. Um... <laughs> But um, the, the thing is, is the further away we get, the less people we should hopefully encounter. Hopefully that's the case. Um, I did make a farming video a while back in this zone, and I was eventually chased down. Uh, but I was not killed. I actually survived that video. So maybe this is the, like, the place to, to be. But there won't be as many enchanted mobs, because like I said, it's closer to town. So we're going to go just a little bit further, a little bit deeper, as the, as the guide says. And you can see that we've been doing, what? what is this, three minutes now? We've been traveling three minutes with no fame farming, three minutes of, you know, we can be murdered at any time with no escape. Because you're not going to escape ten people on a Discord with claws and staffs and, you know, all the things to slow you down. You're just not.
But we got one more zone after this, and uh, it looks like I'm slow loading. That's not good, especially if I'm in the middle of a chase. Uh, but this zone is close, and that is a chest that's... I am so tempted to go look at this chest. Oh, someone... Uh, I've already been scouted. Look at that. I have been scouted. This guy's got a hideout nearby, um, so it's uh, he's already going to radio in his friends. Now, lucky for me, I guess, is that my set completely sucks. However, I am a YouTuber, and... People find great glory in killing YouTubers, so I'm not even going to check the chest. That guy, they might be using it as bait. That's a thing, too. Like, whoever owns that hideout could possibly be using it to lure people there to kill them and take their stuff. Or that player could be on his way to that. Yeah, they took it, so it would have been a waste of time to ride there. I called it. I made the right decision. Here we go. We are now at the farming location, Dry Vein Riverbed. And uh, you can see some enchanted mobs. We don't want to touch them near the entrances. I want to get as far away as possible from the entrances because I don't want people who are riding the roads to see that I exist in the zone. I want to be as sneaky as possible. And we're going to just fame farm uh, with auto respec on uh, and see how much we earn in 30 minutes if I survive that long. And then I will turn auto respec off and see how much silver we earn in the same amount of time. Which um, I will speed up the footage if uh, it is applicable, I suppose. Or maybe not. You know, maybe you can just you know, hit chill with me. We'll talk about stuff. We'll uh, we'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, I could go into mists, you know, but I'm not. That's not what this video is about. It's not about doing the mists. So we, we're pretty we're pretty far away from the roads now, and uh, we can I guess we can start mob farming. So let's get a little count. All right, twenty three eight eight six. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and copy that onto my clipboard. Fame credits, and I am max spec on everything I'm wearing. So it will all go to combat fame credits. Now, I'm not very good at the druidic staff. I'm, I'm going to be real with you. But I, I, I'm i dealing pretty good damage, it seems. I would kind of really want a Thetford cape. But there we go. Uh, you know, it's not looking too bad right now. I am paying tax to the owner of this area, which really feels bad. I don't like paying taxes. Uh, I don't like paying other players' taxes or anything of, of the sort. So you can see that I'm basically melting these enemies. Like I said, I'm maximum spec. Um, I'm not max spec in the whole druid tree, just druidic staff. I don't have much in the others. Uh, reason being is it scales. It's a horribly scaling, scaling weapon. So to be fair, a new player isn't going to do that much less damage than me, but they will do less damage. Just to get, let's just make that clear. Enchanted mob, huh? All right, and we got an animal there. Now remember, I can heal myself, and I haven't eaten my food yet, and I let my Q go on cooldown, so that's not good. But, um, other, other, other than that, we're doing alright. I'm cast healing myself, it's fine. And, uh, a little bit far away from my mount for comfort. But again, we're still doing okay. We're still doing alright. Let's eat our food so we get that 30 minute timer. And also, so we heal between mob packs. I know I could use a beef stew for more damage and speed this up, but I want, I want to be fully healed between mob packs. That's, like, my main concern. We're just gonna have to tank that, I suppose. <laughs> and again, it's not its not that big of a hit. It's still a hit, though. So, uh, again, I can just heal myself. And I don't want to fight the, mo the, the terror bird, so I'm just gonna run away from that. And once I go out of combat, you can see my health quickly regenerate for the next pull. That's why I like the cabbage suit. And I pulled another terror bird. Okay, yes, indeed. We are pulling... Oh, we got a hidden treasure here. Let's go ahead and pop that open, see what we get. If I find something really valuable, I'm leaving. I'm bouncing. That's 2,000. 2,000 silver there. Okay. And uh, we're not hearing... I don't have my headphones fully on, so I'm not, like, in listening mode for bad guys. But um, I also haven't scouted the area, so I don't know where all the mobs spawn. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's whatever. So we're going to pop her up, and there we go. I feel like this is too slow for clear speed, honestly, but for new players, it is sustainable, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to do what they would have to do. And yes, I know new players won't have auto-respec or anything, but I'm just going to show you. Like, there's no reason for someone of my caliber to farm out here. A new player, if you want to risk it 50k, 50k is quite a lot if you're brand new on your first maybe day or two, depending on how spin-thrifty you are. What do we have there? A little treasure that someone didn't loot? That's fine. There is a lot of animals alive out here. And, you know, I could kill the saber toots for a chance at a baby, but they're really cheap right now. Like, babies are only like 30k or something. It's 
That's a really piss poor amount. Now, I want to stay away from this because the guards will absolutely slap me silly. And we're not doing solo dungeons, so we're not going into those. We're just farming open world mobs because they're way, way worth more. Okay, so far we haven't seen a single person in this zone, and that is a good sign. I like that. I'm happy with that. Let's see. Alright, I did pull the stag there. That's fine. Got the pop-up. Take her out. Oh, we got an item drop. I don't know why it dropped over here, but tier 3 cape, that's fine. I'm actually going to trash that, because, um, yeah, I don't need that. I don't need that at all. It's not really worth anything. I could disassemble it or scrap it for, you know, parts, but who cares? I'm uh, I'm going to put on my headphones now. Hopefully I'm not talking too loud. Like I said, it is 7 in the morning UTC, which is, um, it's not 7 in the morning where I'm from, but it's still pretty early. And there we go. Pop her up. Interrupts her spell. Finish attacking. We did our daily. That actually took a little while to do that daily. That's scary. Like, I just do a, a static pull and it's done. So the fact that it took that long to complete is a little worrisome for me. And then we're gonna pop that there. Now, if other players get a little too spry around me, I suppose I could switch my W spell out. And, um, run something else. Like, something more healing. I don't know. But usually if someone scouts me, I'm, I'm gonna be dead. So, it's whatever. Man, we got a saber tooth on this pool. We're not gonna kill it, though. And run, and grab silver, and then run away. Got a mob camp up here. I'm not very confident with the mob camps, as some of the more, you know, better... <laughs> uh, what are they called? The nature staff players, but... You know, we're, we're, doing our, we're doing our due diligence here. We're killing them at a, a decent rate, okay? <laughs> and there we go. We have looted, looted the silver, which is important because that's how that's how you would get your money back for the set. You know what? Maybe for for time's sake, we'll just uh, farm uh, fifteen minutes for fame, and then we'll do fifteen minutes for silver, and then I can multiply that by four. Even though that's not really the best sample size. Just because I feel like I'm gonna die. Like, I don't like having to pay so much attention to a video game. I'm gonna be real. I'm lazy. I don't... <laughs> I don't really enjoy having to do so much, um... You know, taking so much care, I guess. There we go. Took her out. These only give 3,000 fame each. They might sound like a lot, but it's not. It's really not. Go ahead and pop another Q under them. And I'm taking some damage here, but that's fine. I have a Mercenary Jacket, remember. I can use Mercenary Jacket and get my HP back, no problems. If another player shows up and these AoEs are on the ground, though, I'm going to get my Mount despawned, which is is a problem. Alright, that, that would be a tremendous problem. Go ahead and pop these girls in the air. Like they just don't care. <laughs> Alright, we got a Tome, and um, if I get into combat, I'm going to use that. If I remember... Probably won't remember. Alright. Cast that, cast that, cast that. And then hit the last one, dodge that, and just auto-attack the rest down. Again, it's slow to me. This is very slow to me. Because I can, like, one-tap these mobs in the yellow zone, and they, they don't give that much less. It's just a little bit. And, you know, if I use a satchel, it's so much more. Like... <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna wear headphones. It's because I I can't tell how loud I'm talking. I don't know what if that's like a condition or something, but I want to make sure I'm not like screaming into the microphone at you guys and waking up neighbors and stuff. I did move recently, so uh, yeah, uh, very cool stuff. We are in not so much of a ghetto. It's still a ghetto, but it's uh, it's it's more of a homey ghetto, right? I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Whatever, not important, who cares? And that guy stepped out of the circle, how dare he? How dare he try to remove himself from thorny bushes? Like, as far as pain goes, like, besides, like, fire staff, obviously, in this game, I think nature would be a very painful weapon to fight in real life. Just because you're being wrapped by literal thorn bushes, you're being, like, surrounded in spikes. But at the same time, unless the spikes are really sharp, you would think that basic leather armor would protect you completely from the damage. But who knows? I mean, who knows how much these little green, you know, magical bolts of energy are... You know, how, how, how much do those hurt? 
You know, the game Hogwarts Legacy, I think I thought it did spellcasting really well in terms of auto attacks. Like, the way they did that is, you're, you're kind of shooting like a red lightning spell, sort of. Uh, I thought it was just really well done. Really nice. And, uh, yeah, we have not encountered a single soul out here, so that is nice. We saw one guy kind of look us over, and he saw that we weren't worthy to kill. Uh, other than that, I think he maybe was busy with the chest anyway. Uh, so far, so good. I am. I don't have any much complaints. Uh, we can peek at our combat fame credits. We're at 24091, so we have earned... 120,000? 100, 130,000 combat fame. Double, that's 260k fame. 260 fame in 15 minutes? No. 7 minutes? I don't know. I'll get it. We'll just go the whole 30 if we survive it. <laughs> and you know, this only costs 50k, so if I die, it's, it's fine. It's whatever. I don't care. Well, I do care. It does hurt to die. It does hurt to lose a video game. I mean, you're not going to remember in 10 years. Maybe. Maybe the, the people killing me will remember in 10 years. I don't know. Who knows? Try to cast circles under all these guys. We'll do a self-heal there. Dodge this. And I think I'm doing... I'm fighting this okay. I think I'm playing this correctly. At least I feels like that. I want to run from the cougar because I just... Don't want to hurt the little baby cougars, you know? They're not really babies, but... There's someone's baby. <laughs> uh, now this Huntress, though, she's she's a grown woman. She don't need no man. She's strong, independent. You know, we're gonna kill her. Kill her and take her silver pile. Imagine, like, in an actual world, this is how you get stronger. You just slay, like, uh, people living off the land. You know, they, they weren't hurting anybody. They're just out here chilling. They're just out here living their best life. And then some weird nature wizard rolls up to you in a flaming death horse and just spikes you to death with thorn vines. Like, ouch. Like, you lived your whole life, had a family, only to die to some weird wizard with a Santa hat. Like, I got a little Santa hat on. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's just, that's just how life is. People putting out these little cages to try to, like, mess with people's pathing. You know what, that's what they're doing. That is what they are doing indeed. Got lots of terror birds out here, you know. Maybe skinning out here might not be so bad. I don't know. Maybe that's a skinning into tier 5 black zone. <laughs> uh, I'm so out of ideas for content. Please, someone, give me ideas. There's got to be something to do, something to play. Alright, we have slain the baddies. Yes, indeed. I like this. how the, the little smaller ones, they just die instantly. That's pretty cool. And we killed the, uh, what is that, marmot? Kill the marmot. Kill them all. Don't need no marmots here. Alright, and we're bobbing and weaving and auto-attacking and casting. And the stag is pissed. He's like, no, you killed my human friends. I will attack you. But you would think that these humans would attack the stags? But the stags, are, they're living, like, side by side. They're just living in peace, bro. Completely fine. Let's see. Ooh, we got a tier 5 little bandit mask. It's not called the bandit mask. It's called the assassin hood. Tier 5. Yes. Give the tier 5. It's not worth anything. It's really, like, worth peanuts. But, hey, it's fine. Alright, got a little enchanted bossy boy here. And cast a circle under him. Hit the W. Cast a circle under the wizard in the back. That's fine. Heal myself, because I'm taking some damage. Cast circles under everybody. Everybody getting spiked. And I'm gonna have to just tank that. That's fine. I'm half HP. But that's why we brought the cabbage suit. Because if, uh, you know, if a Ginker rolls up on me, I'm just gonna peace out. If I notice, it is a little hard to notice what I'm doing while I'm recording, because... I know this may sound weird, and I always thought the same thing. Like, I would, like, way back in the day, I would watch YouTubers play whatever game, and they would just miss so much stuff on the screen and not know what to do, or they would miss very obvious cues, and I'd be like, bro, it's on the screen, how do they not see this? And now that I'm a YouTuber, and I see how it is, it's really hard to pay attention visually while speaking, because when you're constantly speaking, you, you are not giving focus to the game. It's just, that's just how it is. What if I W first into the queue? That seems to be working okay. Maybe I'll start using that as my rotation. I don't know the proper rotation. I'm just 
Oh, we got a chest in a minute. That's danger. Danger. If no one gets it, though, that's that's a free chest. Maybe it'll have one of those spooky, um, you know, rare eggs in it. That's risky. Oh, we got a 4-3 mob there. That's nice. Really should have brought a skinning knife. Oh, well. <laughs> we didn't. So, that's 50k on the table that we're not going to get. Which is our entire set, but that's fine. You know, it's... It's fine. We're, 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 we already have enough money. We don't have to worry about, you know, the money that we've lost. The money that we will never have. <laughs> because we didn't bring a skinning set. These dang terror birds, get out of here. Stop pecking my mount. Stop it. Let me go. I'm just trying to fame farm that I don't need to really do anymore, but... I'm just trying to make a YouTube video, guys. Leave me be. <laughs> oh, man. This is a, this is his entire family. This was a mother, a daughter, and a wife, and a, and a and a father. We just took them out. We took their money. How much time? Oh, that's open. If there's no one there, it's free. Do I get a free chest? Oh, don't be invisible. It's a blue chest. Oh man, wow. Look at this. This might be cool. This might end the video early. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, get some favor. Uh, that was a 400k chest. Well, that's um. Definitely worth. Oh, we got a skin. Okay, see you later. Video's over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we almost got to the 15 minute point. <laughs> yes, I am that. I am not letting someone kill me for that. <laughs> I will. I will not. I don't. The fact that you can teleport home is so stupid. By the way, so incredibly dumb. But we got a little. We got little bunny boots. Little bunny booties. I don't know. I kind of want them. How much are they worth? They're worth 100k. Yeah, gross. Well, I guess this is a good time to bank. <laughs> All right, so how much did we make in 14 minutes, okay? So let's do a little bit of math time, okay? So, uh, 23, we're gonna do 24,256, and we're gonna subtract it by 23,886. So we made 370,000 fame in a little under 15 minutes, right? Uh, not including the trip there. And so, we'll multiply that by 4. So times 4. That is 1.4 million combat fame credits. Multiply that by 2. It's almost 3 million fame per hour. We'll say it's we'll, we'll say it's 3 million fame per hour. Even though, uh, you know, maybe a little bit more. But but yeah, we're, we're pulling 3 million fame per hour. And you need 37 million to max out a spec. You only need 15 million to max out a mastery. So that would be five hours. You do that activity for five hours, you will be level 100 mastery. But yeah, we, uh, <laughs> let's just sell this crap real quick. Let's just get this stuff out of here. We'll go do another run now. We'll see how much silver we earn. So that, that's going to be exciting. Isn't it? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. We'll see. And yes, you're going to, you're going to sit with me while I ride back out there. No editing. No editing in the Black Zone videos. But hey, you know. I, what would feel really bad is if I got all this and it had one of those eerie eggs in it and then I got killed by some ganker. That would feel absolutely horrible. 84 surprise eggs. Look at that. It's only 9,000. Oh, wait. No, it's 64,000. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to use them. Screw it. I'd rather just have the skin. Uh, I don't have any boots. I'm like poor. All right. So... <laughs> We got some shoes. We got some bunny shoes. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm. Pr Do I not? I have other shoes. I have plenty of shoes. Like monk sandals, I guess. Now we're using the bunny shoes, okay? They, they look so stupid. <laughs> they contrast really nicely with the horse. Alright, well, let's get the. Okay, what? Well, yeah, we have these little tomes, you know. Little, these little 50,000. Let's buy another food. Let's buy a beef stew. Let's just see. By one. We'll use that as our timer for silver. <laughs> and let's get back out there. <laughs> let's see if we survive the second trip, okay? You know, not so bad that we survived the first trip, but we're gonna. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn off. When, when I get there, if I get there, we're, uh, we're gonna turn off auto respec, and then we're gonna put all my gold in my guild bank, and then we're gonna. or silver, I'm sorry. And then we're gonna see how much silver I generate and how long it takes to pay for the set. So yeah, we uh, we definitely got one. I mean, it said 400k, but it really wasn't. It wasn't nearly as close as to 
what it what it was supposed to be, but that's fine. And we're back. Okay. We're just auto running as an invisible man. Which is a creepy ass movie. And I've seen some funny uh drawings of that movie, which Think about it, it's it's a cop-out. You can just film open air and be like, yeah, there's a guy here, just dub it over with your voice. Yeah, he's totally invisible, guys, wink wink. It's like when anime blocks people's mouths with helmets and just, like, scarves and stuff, so they don't have to animate or lip-sync the, the, the vocals or whatever. Uh, it's whatever, man. It's That's just how it is. Look at all these juicy mobs. I could probably just farm out here and then avoid gankers and get the data without having to travel so far. Uh, but there would be less enchanted bobs. So, I don't know. I didn't really, we didn't really, did we even see anybody? What is going on? Did everyone go to east? What is happening? Oh, where are we at? Okay, we're going the right way. We got a little bit of time left on invis. That is a glowing snake. Snake in the grass. I could kill the salamander for salamander babies, but nah, we're not doing that. It's gonna ride to the next area. Little wolf statue there. Well, how come people don't break those with uh, demolition hammers? I would be out here demolition hammering them if this was my, like, hometown. This was my hideout zone. Oh no, we are revealed to the world. What are we gonna do? What's gonna happen? You know, I can actually fight in this set. I'm not, like, super afraid of, like, 1v1 PvP in this set. It's actually really hard to kill. It's one of my ideal sets to actually run out and fight. And... I could actually disengage with Wanderlust if they don't have Purge, or also having Wanderlust. But it's probably like a 7-1 double dagger build and they just kill me in two hits or something. I don't know. I even Yeah, I'm going the right way. That's fine. Yeah, man, we're going. Going two five zones away so we can farm and see how much silver we earn and do a quick little calculation. Uh, let's see. What's going on in this this little town? What's happening here? This is tier 5 zone, and uh, like I said, we're gonna go to that other tier 5 zone. Because that, that zone that zone actually did really good for us. Um, we were undisturbed, we didn't see a single person. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go pal around in the black zone because everyone in the comments is like, Ooh, black zone, Ooh. Ooh, so bingy. <laughs> that's that's a that's literally some of the comments people leave. They just type random gibberish and then say my name, and it's like, what are you trying to say? <laughs> but hey, I I do it too. When people like try to send me emails, it's like, hey, bro, uh, why don't you shill our product? Our product is this, dude. Okay, l let me talk about some crappy products people have tried to get me to sell on my. Ch There's a lot of mobs. I don't. I really hate walking by that. That is so. That is free. That was a huge amount of fame. But, um... This one company that makes exercise bikes. And they were like, hey bro, why don't you, um... We'll send you an exercise bike and you can make a video on it and, uh... Yeah, uh-oh. What are you wearing, bro? Oh, you're a little Skinner rat. Or maybe you're pretending. You never know. Why is this zone at? That, that could be a scout, too. That could just be, like, a freaking Discord bot. You never know. But, um, I'm like, okay, well, your exercise bike sounds cool. How much is it worth? And they're like, well, it's $400. And I'm like, what? That's real cheap for an exercise bike. And they're like, yeah, you want one? And I'm like, well, tell me the specs on it. What is the maximum speed? Does it have fans? What is the weight limit? You know, I need to know all these things before I can make a decision. And they told me the weight limit was 140 pounds. And I was like, bro, what the what the heck? That's a liability. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell people to buy an exercise bike that can only hold 140 pounds. There are children's regular bikes that can hold more weight than that. Are you kidding? Is that Ooh, that unlocks soon. And we might be able to get it. Okay, so like I said, we're in the zone. We're gonna turn auto respec off and we're gonna put all of our money in the guild bank. All 118 million. There we go. So now. Uh, my money is zero, and so everything I kill will go directly to that, other than the tax that we're paying. Uh, so, I, I do want to get this chest, though. Because, hey, I got one chest in this zone already. I can maybe get two. So, I'm going to do a little trick where I'm riding silently. So I can hear other players approaching. 
And hey, this is giving, uh, what is this, favor? Oh, is this, I'm going to ride around, and if I hear a player, I'm going to skedaddle out. That's how I'm doing this. Just riding around, because if they're invisible and running at me, uh, yeah. It's, don't worry, it's just a little trick, okay? You can see how my mount is completely silent. As soon as I hear footsteps, I'm moving along. Okay, let's, this is free. Is that a legendary? <laughs> is that a legendary, dude? Oh, boy. No way. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to film a video. Stop giving me all this loot. <laughs> no, I, what? I don't have, oh, duh. Quick, quick, withdraw. Money. Teleport back. <laughs> Another, we made a million in this video. That's cool. Well, <laughs> we'll try. We'll try. Like, why is it a legendary? <laughs> I've never opened a legendary chest ever in the open world. That is so wild, dude. It's a good day. It's a good day today. <laughs> I'll just uh, ye yeet that into my account. There we go. <laughs> Bro. Even though we didn't really get anything really that good. And yes, I am totally sacrificing the quality of my video for the fact that, um, five, bro, 500,000 silver. <laughs> Look, here, here's the reality of it, okay? In the grand scheme, it's not a lot of silver to me, but it would really hurt deep down in my soul if I lost that to another player. So I'm not... <laughs> we're... Yeah, I mean, that's cool. You know, we made 1 18th of premiums price today so far. In 31 minutes, we made a million. So it's, uh, it's a little harder to hate the black zone now, isn't it? But whatever. <laughs> I'm not the kind of guy that's trying to push an agenda against the black zone here, you know? I'm not the kind of guy trying to be like, don't go to the black zone. Because, you know, I put this video out, everyone's going to go to the zone, and they're going to think they're going to get the same results as me. And it's like, no. <laughs> that whoever controls that territory is going to be alerted very quickly that there's a video being made in their zone by Albion's top YouTuber. And then they're, they're going to be like, okay, new guild policy. We need people to um, patrol the area and kill all the newbies that are going to come here. <laughs> uh, we're setting out once again. Look at this guy, Gwalfulpulp. He's fishing. I, I feel like I could gank that. I feel like I could totally gank that. Um, but I'm not. He might just run into a hideout or something nearby. And that's not what this video is about. Also, I, I don't have my curse staff out. I have druidic staff, which is significantly harder to kill. Uh, because of the time to kill is lower. But hey, uh, we are... Uh... <laughs> Well, we made some bank, so it's okay to die. It's totally fine to die. We'll be 950,000 up. Which is nice. It's alright. I didn't get a lot done fame farming, sadly. You know, I'd like to have more fame. You know, if I spent this amount of time in a yellow zone, um... Honestly, like, if I if I spent this same amount of time in a yellow zone, I wouldn't have made as much silver. But again, I'm just getting lucky. It's not guaranteed that I would have ever gotten those chests. It's not even guaranteed that those chests would have even spawned. Uh, whereas in the yellow zone, when those chests pop, and, like, there's, like, 20 dudes all in the same guild, all with, like, a full raid, you know, with healers and tanks and, and shit. And they're gonna get the chest over you every single time. So what do we have here? That's a chest in two and a half minutes. There is another player on the road, uh, currently riding, so I would like to not be spotted by him. But you never know, it's whatever. Alright, so we're gonna get back to that zone again. And, um... <laughs> We're gonna try to get our dang data so we can see if it's worth doing. If not, hey, you, you got you got a longer video today, you know. I know some of you guys don't like the long videos, but the the vocal majority of people actually do. They enjoy listening to me ramble about this game while they play themselves, while they you know do their own little farming. Maybe they're out and about having an adventure. Maybe they're shooting the shit with their friends in Discord, and they're like, oh, let's see what Swole Benji's talking about today. Oh, hey guys, Swole Benji did a black zone, and he had fun, and he made money, and he didn't die. Oh, must see, must see rare Swole Benji video. Oh, man. Yep, yeah, it's gonna be hard to top this one in the yellow zones, but actually, I have. I've already topped it before. I have a video. Is that another chest? Stop it, game. You're feeding me too much. It's like, 
Okay, here's the thing. The Albion devs are like, we got this new, um, we got this new thing. If if players are vocally complaining into their microphones, which we've now tapped into, um, we're gonna make the games RNG on their side. So if someone is like, oh, I hate this game, I never get any good loot, then the game will be like, <laughs> complaint detected, and then it's gonna generate legendary chests for you to loot in a black zone where no one is awake apparently. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna get this one, too. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I should. I need to silence my mount real quick. There we go. Now we have stealth. Kind of stealth? I mean, it's semi-stealth. I don't know why this bug still <laughs> works. Uh, but yeah, we can hear everyone around us. Let's see if there's any players. And, uh, <laughs> I might as well just change the, like, this video was supposed to be about, oh, there's a player. What are you wearing, bro? Maybe I can fight you. Nah. I could totally take him, though, but he's just gonna run. I need to, <laughs> uh, am I even going the right way? I haven't been paying attention. Yes, I'm going the right way. I want to farm this. I want to make a video on that again, but you never know. Hey, I want stealth mount, thank you. There we go. It's kind of semi-stealthed. So every once in a while, the horse steps a little too hard, makes a clomping sound, but that's okay. You can see now it's nice and nice and quiet. All right. You know, we could also just go ahead and go into the roads and see, you start farming those chests too. Might as well. Might as well. I don't really have the right build, I don't think, but I could probably pull it off. I do have 100 specs and this stuff, so it's doable. Maybe, maybe we'll make that as like an encore footage. But, th like, here's the thing. I, I, I prefer to make a video that's concise and about one single subject. You know, but screw it. Let's just um, open our guild tab and deposit all the monies. There we go. Okay. And so, with auto respec turned off, we can now eat our food in one second. Just the beef stew this time. And we can just start killing. And I hate that I'm near a road. I also should probably be more careful about my HP. Uh... That's fine. You know, we are... I'm gonna go ahead and just use my Merc Jacket now. So I want to be fully healed. I don't have the Cabbage Soup anymore. You can see, just that one pull uh, gave us 2.8k silver. So that's not bad. It's not the greatest. Hey, it's it's something, man. You, you can't have it all. You can't just kill one mob and get a million silver. Unless you're doing hardcore expeditions, I suppose. And I really regret getting the beef stew now, because I'm not really feeling a difference in it. So I have to spam heals on myself after every fight, which just... Oh, it didn't go off because I'm mounted. That's stupid. Since when is that a thing? I, s I haven't played Druidic Staff in a long time, guys. Ooh, we got an item drop. Ugh, tier 3 bag. Get out of here, Tier 3 bag. You are not welcome in my inventory. That's right. Tier 3 bags, get out. Not allowed. Not allowed at all. And our silver is now 6k. Remember, our set's worth 45k, so, uh, you know, we make our money back. This is for people that don't have auto respec. Doesn't this okay. Also, you know, I got some, uh, I got some might and favor from opening those chests, especially the legendary one was worth like 3.5k. So that's really nice, actually. That's, that's superb. That's a real cool thing to get, so... Yay! <laughs> Alright, yellow piss-colored mob, I will fight you and cast all of my spells on you. I, I'm not doing my rotation right. It's Q3 autos, Q3 autos. Alright, let's heal before mounting up. There we go. Nice little shower of healing energies flowing through you. Just feels so nice. It really does. Another 4-3. Oh, I should have brought the skinning knife. Oh. Alright, whatever. We killed that dude real fast. A little too fast. One, two, three, Q. One, two, three, Q. Alright, see, I'm getting it down. I'm learning the rotation again. It's been quite some time. We'll we'll have it mastered yet. Because the way the way thorns works now is uh, if they're in the circle, they get thorn stacks. And if they get thorn stacks, your auto attack deals extra bonus damage. So it's nice to do, while the circle is also dealing damage. So, there you go. You've been educated on the workings of the nature staff. And 
and we're just gonna cast the third circle into her, and yep, yeah, everything is smooth sailing now. So I'm not really... I haven't been paying attention to my surroundings. Seems like we're getting a little bit better at this. Did someone die? I haven't seen a single death on the map, so that's reassuring. It must be peacetime. Everyone's just chill now. Or maybe, you know, like everyone's quit. What's happening? What's going on? Maybe the mists ruined black zones finally. Everyone's like, ugh, black zones, ugh. Or maybe wh whichever guild patrols this zone is so hardcore, and they're, they're like all on like a movie break. They're all going to watch the Super Mario movie or something. <laughs> yes, this is how my brain works. This is your brain on Soul Bidgey. This is your brain when it's normal. <laughs> Give me those silvers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And remember, I don't have premium, so if I did... I would be getting a lot more silver, but um, I'm not gonna pay for premium to make a few videos. I got there's new games coming out this month. There's Minecraft Legends. Uh, there's Diablo 4 in June, and um, you know, like this month's rewards are all right. You get the the Black Panther. I'm gonna go ahead and claim that, um, which is all right. It's decent if you don't have one. Go ahead and grab it. You know, if you're on the East, you should definitely get one. Oh, there's some items here. Look at that. Someone just left items for me on the ground. How kind. Your four armor. Some. Runes and souls, very nice, very cool. Okay. And again, this is just a tier 5 zone, so it's not the best zone. And that could be it, too. You go to a far away tier 5 zone. But it's like, I don't know, the, the trip time is what trips me up. More items, yes. More items indeed. More glowing mobs, incredible. Alright, one, two... That was only two hits, whatever. Like, you can't really cancel the animation of your auto attack to reset the triple combo. It's fine, though. We're up to not, almost 20k silver, so we've almost made that moolah back. Very nice. Very cool. And we'll cast a little circle on... Oh, we got everybody out here. This is getting dangerous. Alright, we need to finish her off. And I don't want to unsummon my mounts, but I don't want to be in that magical field of energy either so again we're getting we're getting a little bit of trouble here i'm gonna go ahead and pop mercenary jacket that's what it's for i'm gonna use it and uh, i didn't use it very effectively but that's fine we're, we're gonna survive this and we're gonna be able to heal so we did it we did it reddit we killed the bad guy npcs with our sloppy 4.1 build and on to the next pack of mobs. Yes, indeed. Just auto-attack them down, let them drain. Get that fame, get that silver, that's that's what it's all about. And uh, I don't want to do this for 30 minutes, I'll do it for 15. And then we'll just multiply it by 4 or something, I don't know. Again, crappy sample size, that's why I don't have it up on the screen, that's why... I don't even know what I'm going to title or tag this video, but hey. Legendary chest in the black zone, woo! -hoo. And then, like, the dialogue is just something completely different. People be getting mad, like, oh, where's the chest at? They, like, fast-forward ten minutes in the video or whenever it was. They see, oh, that's a legendary chest, and then they close the video, so. That's not good. That's not good for YouTube. That's not good for me. No, I don't want to stand in your magic and get stunned. That's bad. That is a bad man. The new saps better have these lightning spells in them. Uh-oh. Stay away from that area. That has armed guards. We don't want to fight the armed guards. No, 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 no. We really shouldn't kill the animals. They didn't do anything. They don't deserve it. Because someone else is going to get to skin those now. If there's even anyone else out here. Stop biting me in my horse's ankles, bro. Stop it. And cast, and cast. And cast once more. There we go. Move out of the way. Hurt the NPC. It's uh, all in a day's work. We're grinding, grinding, grinding. Okay. How long has it been? Like five minutes? Oh, it's been like seven. Okay, cool. We've been farming for seven minutos, and we are at 30k. We still can't replace our set yet. Of course, and you know, with the previous little adventures we had, we totally could pay for multiple sets at that point. But that's that's open world chess. You're not really expected to get those. I don't know how I got them. I totally didn't pay off the guild in this area to vacate the zone for the video. I, I swear, it's not a setup. I didn't make a deal with the guild saying, hey, let me film in driving riverbed 
Um, and I'll pay you guys so I can, you know, lure people into the black zone. <laughs> I swear there's a YouTuber that's probably done that. You know, I'm not gonna say any names, but, um, you, you know, the ones that are in those big clans, the big guilds. They're out there. And they're telling their members, hey, I need to film. Everyone leave. I'm your guild master. What are you gonna do about it? Go to the CTA. I'm gonna yell at you in voice chat because your passive is wrong on your helmet. I'm always gonna bring that up. I'm never gonna let that down. That is such a stupid thing to get mad at over a video game. Oh, your your passive is wrong. How dare you join my raid with the wrong passive, bro. How dare you. And my magic is stronger than theirs. It's a good thing these guys are super easy. Imagine... Okay, imagine if Albion Online was like Dark Souls. And every enemy you fought was a raid boss from, like, Elden Ring or something. Right, you know, I'm talking, like, you have to hit them, like, 40 times to kill them. And then they can kill you in, like, two hits. Fame farming would actually be a freaking nightmare to do. I, I feel like the game would just die from the insane difficulty or something, you know? I mean, maybe. I'm just auto-attacking without thorns on these, these girls. There we go. Take them out. Take them out, scoop up the loot. Scoop the Loot. That's That should be my username. That should have been my YouTube name. Hey guys, it's Scoop the Loop here. Uh, back at it again with another Minecraft video. Today we're going to talk about how to farm the nether using only a golden uh, shovel. <laughs> oh, if I ever make that video one day, someone please help me. <laughs> Whoa! We got a little robot. He's got a little treasure chest. Give me. That's mine now. You're not Oh, is he going to fight me? He is gonna fight me. I don't know what he can do. But we got the... Look at that. We got 14k. I'm okay with dying with 14k. That's fine. That's whatever. We got 38k in silver. And, uh... Yeah. The goal is 45k. He got a little bit of abalone energy there. You know? He did, He do be having a little bit of abalone energy, though. Let's see. 17k in the inventory. Little floating robot. Thought he could just halt... Where, is he ta where did the robots take the chest? You know, was that like a- that's like a, an Albion Online, but it's an Amazon delivery, right? It's like, um... Is shipping and handling okay through the black zone? It's like, we'll send a robot out, it's fine. Hopefully no one grabs it. That would be so cool, that would be like something in EVE Online, right? Like, you can- you can send items to other players and you can dispatch a robot to deliver it to them. But people could kill the robot along the way and take the stuff. Like like killing a courier in uh, Dota. But you don't get their items, I don't think. You just get extra bonus gold when you kill a courier. It's been a long time since I've played Dota. But that would be freaking cool in an MMORPG. Like, in, like I know like games like World of Warcraft and stuff, you, when you mail someone something, it's just instant. It just shows up in their magical mailbox. Uh, yeah, and I think what, Arcage did the same thing. But nah, man, like a full loot game like this, that, that, hey, Albion developers, that's the new idea. I want that in the newest update. I want players to be able to craft, like, think about it. They need a way to make stone worth something. What if you made Avalonian robots from stone and, I don't know, something, energy or whatever, who cares? Just pick something, just pick a resource. And you can make little robots that you can send out to people. Imagine being... Being me, being the top Albion YouTuber, imagine being one of the top Twitch streamers, you know, whatever that girl's name is, I don't know her name, but she doesn't like me, she thinks I'm uh, an incel or whatever, which I'm not, by the way, I'm not, I haven't been in like 17 years, I, I don't know why people call me that on Reddit, but um, freaking, you know, it's, it's like, okay boys, send me all your, your gifts, and then like, you just see like, all these robots flood from every corner of the map, Towards the streamer. Ooh, we got a boss enemy. Yeah. Yeah, a boss enemy. Oh, let's pull them away. All right. That's cool. It looks like we got an uh, an ad here, and that's fine. Now, we actually have to play this a little bit smarter, so I'm going to try to avoid all the crap. Uh, I guess I'm just going to kill the boss first and then the ad, huh? Okay, no, that was... Uh, oh, I'm getting hurt here. Here, let's heal. Just in case someone comes. See, look at that. I can fully top off my HP. 4.1. That was our 27k fame and 4,563 silver. And some runes. The drops really sucked. Well, that was very anticlimactic. Oh, hoo -hoo, another boss! 
Bro, we're gonna- that's gonna be a lot more. I kind of want to turn on auto respect so I get the most out of that. Oh, I feel like someone's gonna come and ruin this, though. I feel like someone's gonna come mess this up. So let's kill all the- all the ads around. No. We haven't seen a single person, so it would be very odd now if they came and interrupted me, you know? Okay, so let's put a circle there, a circle there, hit them with the W, that kills the ads. And we're gonna weave in and out of this. There we go. I didn't mean to cast two of those, but whatever. Heal. W again. Again, we got this fight. You know, I'm gonna reflect that. Get a little bit more defense there. You have to dodge this. I know this from doing the statics. You have to absolutely dodge that. Okay, looks like we got this in the bag. It's fine. We're how much is this gonna earn? 111,000 fame. And silver is 22,841. So yeah, that definitely paid for the set. We're at 72k. It kind of skews, like I said, it's it's dude, this video is super like cherry picked for the black zone, which is like not what my channel's about at all. But hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna show it because that's the results I got. So it's not if you're a brand new player, this was not bad. But if you're also, like, on East, you ain't doing this on East. I could log into East and show you. You come here on East, you're dead. <laughs> speed- bro, speed hackers are plaguing the East server right now. It's so- if you go to Reddit and, and look up what the posts are, even the deleted ones, like, the, the Janies can't keep up with it all. Um, speed hacking is just so rampant right now. Ooh, hidden treasure. Yeah, let's get that. Very nice. Hidden treasure 1.5k. Very cool. And um, now West had a problem with speed hackers, but it was like it, it was a Russian Discord that was doing it. And they eventually kept banning them. Like as soon as they would make a new character and like kill like a few people, they would be banned. So they weren't profiting or having fun at all. And it was just a pain in the ass for them to like fame up a new whispering bow or curse staff user for their hack. But on East, it's like every like 10 minutes, there's a new post, Ugh, did I do a speed hacker, help me. And then, you know, people have more means to record video these days, so... Uh, yeah, very interesting stuff. Uh, don't ask me where to get them, I don't know, and if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Um... <laughs> uh... Alright, we're killing more glowing mobs, there we are. Let me out of here, Sabertooth Tiger, I don't want to kill. No, it's another Sabertooth Tiger. Let me go. I want to. Nah, there's, a, there's too many. Dang, that's a lot of saber tooth tigers. Screw it. Kill them. Kill the saber tooths. You know, maybe they'll drop their baby. One of them has to be, you know, having a litter anytime now. It's the season. It's. <laughs> hey, look at that. I swear I'm not psychic. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> it's so funny. I, I love it when YouTubers do that. They like call something. And then it happened. Didn't I do? Didn't I do that with a legendary chest earlier? I was like, "Oh, it's gonna be a legendary chest." I swear I'm not dubbing over this in post. I don't do that. I'm lazy. This video's unedited. I swear. I just hit record and then upload it. That's how I do things a lot most of the time. Whoa, this guy's really growling at me, man. What's up? What's up with that? But yeah, we got saber tooth baby. We're worth 64k. We got 79k worth of silver from the drops. You can see without auto respec on, I'm not getting that much. Oh, I'm getting chewed up. Ouch. I'm in my menu, Sabretooth. Stop it. This video's gone on long enough. We had a actual... Oh, another boss. Okay. Yeah, let's go, boss man. Let's uh, dodge... Oh, I should have dodged that. Come on. I should have dodged that. Dodge this one, at least. Okay, I'm just gonna have to stand on top of him. Like, in between his legs. Like, you know... Oh, he's berserking. Oh, I'm reflecting, though. That's fine. Oh, I'm reflect. I hate using reflect on mobs. It's so shameful, but hey, it's whatever. And there we go. 27k. Ooh. Tier 3 torch. No, thank you. No, thank you. Yeah, this video's actually gone on quite a while now, and, um, I could just sit out here and farm indefinitely until someone eventually does kill me, because it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. But... I can farm more efficiently, you know, in statics, so this isn't really worth my time to continue doing. But hey, you know, farming tier 5 black zone, it, daring off hours on a weekday. <laughs> can you get up at, what, 7 in the morning UTC to do this? Probably not. Most people have lives. 
most people don't want to sacrifice their personal life for video games. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but uh, we'd be out here. We'd be out here farming mobs. You know, I would maybe come back with Spike Gauntlets and do this. Not, I wouldn't. I don't know about Druidic Staff, but Spike Gauntlets would be so much faster. Hell, Bolt Casters would be so much faster than this. Uh, but it is, it's good sustain, because I can just pop a heal, and, uh, you know, there you go, you just get healed back up, super easy. <laughs> the percent chance to get a, uh, a Swift Claw Cub is so tiny, it is insanely small. <laughs> um, so yeah, I thought that was really interesting, that, um, that I got that drop, and that I called it too, I was like, oh. Maybe I just have psychic abilities to force things to happen in video games. So let's try it, guys. Let's, um... What's this, tier 5 zone? So we're gonna call it now. 7.4... Uh... What's a freaking good item? Uh, what, what I... Let's, let's go 7.4 dagger pair. That's super unlikely to happen. If it does, I'm gonna, like... I'm just gonna have a seizure. I'm just gonna, like, seize up and start foaming at the mouth if this actually drops 7.4... Uh, double dagger pair or whatever. I uh, said it wrong, but you get the point. You get what I'm trying to do. Alright, let's see. Yeah, see, no item drop. See, I don't have magical powers to will the video game to what I want to happen. Just so you know, I'm not a witch. I'm not a Wiccan. I'm not a wizard. I'm not a deity. I'm just a dude. I'm just a, I'm just a regular bloke that's playing Albion online. And, ooh, hidden treasure. Let's go. What if it's in here? I want to, like, piss myself. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not gonna piss myself over a fucking video game. Another hidden treasure, huh? Well, maybe. Maybe we'll get some. Uh, see? Just a little tier 4 treasure. It's fine. It's fine, guys. Where is every- Why is there no one here? Can I just kill your hideout since- Siege Wild Card. I've never heard of you. Can I come kill your hideout since you're obviously not here? Like- how does that work? That's kind of the kind of stuff I would like to make content for, but there's no guilds that vibe well with me, so... I'm sorry, no hardcore expedition videos, no guild stuffs. I tried making my own guild, but no one's good enough to vibe with me, man. Everyone's freaking normies, dude. Like, I, uh, I, I check the, the Discord every single day, and it's just a bunch of really fancy-schmancy people with nice lives that apply, and it's like, come on, bro, where's the lowdown brothers? Where's the... Where's the tormentors? Where's the people that have had crappy lives? Where are they at? I'll never know. Okay, so we've been playing for one hour now, and I tend to not spend this much time playing Alvin online for a video. But hey, you get an hour-long video. I don't know what I get. I get 40 cents, I guess. Uh-oh, I just lagged. What does that mean? Yeah, I just had a little lag spike. Does that mean there's a player nearby? That means somebody's invisible right now about to kill me? That would be funny if I called that. That would be pretty funny. Hmm. Let's see. What, are we, what else are we doing? We killed some bosses. Which, you know, I encountered the same amount of bosses in yellows. Because I know the spawns. I know where to check. I know where to go. Hmm. I kind of want to come back here with a skinning set. Just to see. I, I guess I'll make that video next. We'll, uh... Yeah, I think I'm gonna end this video because I want I want more YouTube videos. I want to get a nice little stockpile going. We're gonna do skinning in the black zone, <laughs> and maybe I'll use like a tier six set. You know, me I don't know. Tier seven, tier eight set. Should I go big baller money? Swear tier eight set. <laughs> what weapon? I guess I would use fire staff. I don't know. Maybe an escape weapon, just to be extra safe and cautious and careful. Ooh. Eventually, this area is, like, the guildies are gonna wake up. Whoever lives here is gonna wake up, and... I wonder if they, like, check the logs. Do the logs... Can someone in a guild answer this for me if you made it this far in the video? Uh, whoever earns silver for the taxes in the zone, does it show you who earned those taxes? Will they look at their log and see, Tax 80, from player Swol Benji. That would be funny. You know, like, you're in a guild, and it's like, oh... The Yellow Zone Warrior visited our... Our Black Zone today. Oh, another hidden treasure. Dang, man, we got a bunch of the hidden treasures out here. All right, 1.5. You know what? What What if I just do the skinning in this video, too? <laughs> uh, oh, another boss monster. Hell yeah. I'm turning on auto respect for that. I want it. We got 100k. I need to get my money back out. Withdraw all of this money. There we go. Okay. 
Yeah. I want the day. Oh, shoot. We freaking pulled her. I didn't mean to pull her. It sounds kind of weird, you know, when you say it that way, but whatever. Makes sense, doesn't it? Alright, self heal, because that's what we do with this spec. We dodge that, we attack, we protect, and we dodge. Oh, yeah, two bosses, not bad. Pretty good. This area is treating me very nicely tonight. I gotta say, no, it's it's been fine dining in the black zone. First time in my life. <laughs> and I'm not even kidding. First time ever. Ooh. You're fine, bow. You know? I that's hey, I could use that for skinning, just use a long bow. You really want something that uses a crypt candle though, to be honest, to be fair, to be real. Uh, well, I have 112k in our inventory. I kind of don't want to give that up, even though it's only 112k. Uh, yeah, there we go. We, uh, we, we started at 23886, and we ended at 246. We farmed 1.6 million combat fame credits, or 3.2 million fame. Not bad. For one hour, it kind of sucks, though, for f pure fame farming. But hey, it's whatever. Uh, I think I will just come back and skin here. Depending on the cost of tier 8 equipment. Um, <laughs> uh, whoa, there's something going on in the map. Hold on. There is a power core. I can't I can't do anything with that. I don't own a hideout. And that wasted my cooldown. So now the video's longer. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy this extra long video. But yeah, look at the... Like, tier 5 is not really worth that much. Also, if I'm a tier 8 gatherer and someone scouts me, I feel like they would follow me. What? This is a- oh, this is like a little outpost, a little castle. It's, um, it's kind of like a- like a faction outpost, but it's a castle outpost. You get the idea. What if I just came with tier 8 tools and just gathered everything? You think that would be good? I don't- yeah, I'm not gonna skin. Screw it. I'm just gonna end the video, guys. Um... <laughs> It's like, I can just go skin in the yellow zone and skin the same exact mobs. They're not that enchanted. There's not that many more of them. I don't think, at least. It doesn't feel like it. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Anyway, guys, I'm Swole Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Hope you enjoyed whatever the video this is. I don't know what I'm going to call it. <laughs> a lot. What ha just just, ha just palling around in the black zone, all right? Just having a good old time in the black zone. Why does that pop up? Whatever. Uh, so, yeah, we, we earned a little bit. We, we did some work. Oh, you know what? I can't end the video. It's not over yet. I promised you I would go to an Avalonian road and do that farm. So, um, let's go do that. Should I go five zones out and then go to the Ava road? I mean, that would be smart, wouldn't it? I really should have used the bathroom before filming. I didn't think I would be this long. Holy moly, let's... <laughs> Man, I, guacamole sounds real good. If only it wasn't so spicy. <laughs> Goodbye, Swift Claw Cub. I saved you from your mother, I guess? I don't know. How, how does that work? Do you tear it open from the belly and it's just there? Or do you... Is it just like whimpering in a corner near its dead mother? I, I don't know how this stuff works. I'm uh, just curious though, what is what is uh, gathering gear, Skinner, Garb, Tier 8, how much does that cost? Uh, I ain't doing that, I ain't bringing that out, screw that. <laughs> it's already too expensive. A little too fancy for my tastes. And Kachow, just eat the silver bags, you gotta eat them, you gotta crunch them up in your mouth. Okay, so we're going to an Ava Road, and we're gonna do Ava Road chest bosses uh, for a little bit, just because, um, why not? Why, why not? We have to die in this video, or it isn't tragic. You have to end- you have to die tragically. Or it's not, like, a thing. Can random people- here's another question for the audience, for you guys in the comments section that are in guilds and know this stuff. Can you, as a non- like, can- can I just take a power core and give it to a random hideout and then, like, put it in? How does that work? Like, <laughs> I wish they would let, like- solo players do something with the power cores. I know it's designed for hideouts and stuff, but let me smash them and get some goodies or something, you know? Let me just break them. What if you're a hideout owner and you already have all the juice you need or something? How, do, how does that work? You just camp the freaking node for hours until it goes away? Like, there's so many questions. Oh well, I'll never know because I'll never join a guild. Ugh, I know, sad day. 
Sad day for soul binge enjoyers out there. Alright, we are going to the something. I might just join an Avalonian Road in the next zone if no one's touched it in a while. I guess we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens. We are journeying forth. Oh, there's a player here. Oh, is he gonna loot that? Oh, there's a lot of players here. Something's going on. You know what? I'm gonna go uninvisible around these dudes, and then I'm gonna die. And there, there are. Yeah. Let's. Okay. Let's just sneak out. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so I can't go that. Oh, they're going to the chest, maybe. Okay. Well, this is seven out of seven. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna enter it. Those players, if they're checking the map, will see this as 6 out of 7, and they might come investigate. That's bad. That is no bueno... I keep saying no bueno a lot in my videos. Why? Am I picking up on Spanish from playing so much Albion? Maybe. Maybe. Whoa, that's a legendary chest. I don't think I can solo that, so I'm not going to even look. I'm not even going to investigate. And I know this video is probably titled something Black Zone, blah, 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 but... <laughs> Someone just skips to the end. Ah, clickbait! He's making an Avalodian video. What in the frick? What is he doing? What is he doing? We're we're trying to die here, so we end tragically. That's what we're doing. I don't have cabbage soup. I hear leaves rustling in the distance. Which it's just the monsters. Speaking of, I need to silent run. Thank you. Silent running activated. We got some mobs there. We gotta watch out for those mobs. What if the chest has already been yoinked? I'm lagging real hard when I approach this archer man. That is like three enemies all bunched together. I don't think I can take that, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Whoa! I don't know how to die. I've never fought these enemies before. I don't know what I'm getting myself into, bro. I have no- oh, he's bumping me. He's a little bumpy boy. Okay, I'm gonna reflect whatever that is, and that really hurt, and I'm stunned, and I'm gonna get hit again by something. And that hurt, and this hurts, and I'm super dying, so save me, Mercenary Jacket. You're my only hope. <laughs> okay, well, we got a little bit of health back. I really need to kill this guy in the distance, and he ran away. Okay, they all reset. What what the heck happened there? That was a practice run, guys. <laughs> that was just for, um... What, why did they leash? I don't get it. Can I run past them? Oh, I can just run past them. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's definitely a boss up. So we're going to fight the boss. And then we'll end the video. And then this this guy is a bully, man. This little whatever this is. Pathfinder drone? No, bro. Stop it. It's a good thing that has a really low charge up. And does, like, no damage. Okay, he's hit me with a wind wall. What a jerk. Trying to blow me into his friends. Um, what's he attacking? Only 4.8k for that, that sucks. Hey, what about the little, little scouty balls? I don't know what they're called. Oh yeah, they summon things, right? That's how this, these work? See, I kind of know some of this stuff. I'm not gonna kill that before it summons. Oh, that's stupid. Okay, we'll kill whatever it summoned here. Do they, do you get fame for the thing it summons? No, that would be like a dupe method. Okay, the spearmen. These guys are tough. These guys are, like, annoying to fight, so we're gonna just hit them with everything we've got, and, yes, and dodge. And dodge, and dodge that, dodge that, and cast this, and dodge that, and we're just, oh, run away. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what these little cir glowing circles are. Okay, and they're attacking, that's fine. They're still attacking. And let's hit them with the W. Yeah, this this is really hard and annoying to do. This is this is not worth the effort of whatever these guys have got going on. I'll tell you that right now. Go ahead and knock them up. Yes, this is a very exhausting fight. I'm gonna have to merc jacket them, and I know I'm just in 4.1 and they're tier six, so that's like a that's not very help that's not helping very much. Let's toss a heal. Toss a heal to your. Uh, to your bro. Oh, I took those hits very painfully. Not good. That one down. 53,000 fame. Alright, that's not bad. That's not bad. Help me, Mercenary Jacket. In case a player rolls up on me. Like, if a player rolls up on me, I'm dead. How are you supposed to escape this? I mean, I have... It's never one player anyway. It's always like a bunch. What did you drop? I'm curious. Yoink that, Tome. Okay. That was 100k fame. Hey, a good amount of... Uh, 
I don't know, might and stuff. Sure, why not? Now we have to fight. I don't know what this guy does. Uh, that's a lot of mobs. Are they going to respawn before I even clear them all? Okay, let's try to kill this thing really, really fast. We interrupted that. It's going to shoot me with a laser beam. Well, that's cool. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to... Oh, I'm just going to get hit by it. Okay, we managed to kite this away from the staff dude. Oh, he's running. No, don't run. Yes, yeah, stay and fight. Good. Okay, so staff dude will patrol up there. I'll kill these two. I don't know what this book dude does. Or, not a book dude. It's one of those healing chalice thingies. How come no one has come and killed me yet? <laughs> How come no one has come out here and murdered me brutally? I didn't pay off whoever, you know, operates. <laughs> I've already said that joke. Can't do the same joke twice. Alright, that's just on me. Purging something, I guess. I didn't have anything to purge, though. Okay, I really need to, like... Oh, uh, don't aggro Staff Man. Staff Man's probably very scary. Alright, now I wait for... Oh, no, my mouth's gone. I'm gonna die. I also they reset! No! This is really stupid. This is such a waste of time. And there's a Staff Guy for... I have to kill the whole camp. I can't... 3v1 them. I'm pretty sure I can't. Okay, let's just slowly uh, not get let's not get hit by the wind wall, I guess. That's the trick. Or get just let them push me against the wall or something, I guess. Oh, that's gonna hit hard. I don't know what that is, but that's slow and it's floating towards me. Okay, that's the wind wall. Can we not get hit by the wind wall, please. There we go. Cast the circles underneath the bad boys. And then they will die. Don't get hit by the- Oh, come on, man. That reset the other dude, didn't it? Of course it did. Really don't want to wait for my freaking health to come back. Maybe this guy will- he, He's only got 3,100 HP. I feel like bolt casters would be so much better. I don't know what that spell does. It's a purge. Uh-oh, we got the staff dude. He's, um, he's talking to me. He said something. I don't know what he said. Oh, he's he's a he's a beady boy. And, uh, oh, he knocked me into the glowing orb. Not good. Okay, well, mercenary jacket time. We'll just heal up. Hit reflect so I can tank a little bit of whatever's going on here. I'll, I'll kill Casty Boy. You like my nicknames for these dudes? I'm gonna have to run. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get downed. Alright, Staff Man has... I don't know. I really should maybe bring Cabbage Soup or something. Yikes, dude. I am... <laughs> I am, like, bare-bonesing this. Okay, what if we fight Staff Dude one-on-one, -on -one and Caster Dude can... I don't know. Here, let's fight Staff Man. Can I just... Can I just tank him or something? Okay, well, maybe not. Oh, look, he's got the same moves as, as you know, actual players. Super annoying to fight. Like, <laughs> like I can't... I'm going to have to stand on top of him to dodge that, but now he's in a corner, so I don't think that's going to work. Okay, so we're going to we're gonna mercenary jacket right now. And, oh yeah, we got this. Okay, he's not casting anything than what I'm standing in between his legs. I guess he likes me there. <laughs> Man, I'm so dirty. Such a dirty player. 50k. There we go. We're figuring it out, guys. You know, there's a reason why I haven't made guides on this stuff, because I don't do this content, okay? I'm getting out of my comfort zone for once in, in my Alpian life. Oh, there's another group in the corner. How fast do I have to kill these until they start respawning? Because I want to kill the boss and then get this uh, loot. You know, get this uh, fame or whatever it is. Whatever we get, I don't know how much we're going to get. This has taken quite some time to slay, but we did it. 39k. And, oh, we got little robots trying... This robot is trying stuff. What's he doing? Whoa, that's actually pretty cool. That was a pretty cool attack. These mobs, I'm not used to fighting these mobs. <laughs> uh, you don't want to be really cool in Albion. Uh, a, a kill counter, like... Like, how many stags have I killed in this game? How many, like, tier 5 huntresses have I killed? I want to know. I want to know how many I've killed, because I've never killed these on this character. These, this would be, like, you know, my virginity on these guys. Jeez, I'm so dirty. What is wrong with my brain? <laughs> Avalonian Acolyte, here you go. 
We're gonna kill you with Thorns magic. And whoa, he's starting to hurt a little bit. Unlocked. Oh, we unlocked the, uh, whatever this is, the Conqueror's Challenge. We did it. I don't have premium, though, so I don't get to open it. Sorry. Okay, we have another Staff Boy. He's got 4k HP. I've only got 2.3k HP, so you can see that he's he's uh, he's going to be a tough little fight. But hey, if he's like the other Staff Guy, we're just going to stand right on top of him, and then that should be it. I'm going to actually heal very early and reflect early. And uh, yeah, actually, easy fight if he doesn't cast his stupid spells. It's fine. Is this, uh, I wonder if that's, like, hard for them to program the AI. Like, they should make it where, like, if you stand under a mob, they can just start stomping on you or something. But, I don't know, maybe maybe some of the mobs should learn Aikido so they can fight up close. <laughs> there we go. We got a little whatever that is. And then we got a chest. And the chest is, oh, God, that chest sucked. Well, that was a that was not a good investment of our time at all. So, boo on that. And we could go for another one, or I can just return with all this stuff. I don't know. Let's we can just go on a journey until we die. Just take take a journey. You can also solo the group dungeon. Uh, you know I'm I'll kill one group dungeon mob if I even can. I'm just curious. I'm just. We're just playing around today. We're, yeah, I guess I can title that that the video. We're just playing around in the in the danger zones. Uh oh, what are you? What are you doing out here, freaking meta gamer named Cuddles? <laughs> if someone's name is Cuddles and they're strapped, then they're freaking scary. Simple as. Well, you know, interesting enough, he uh, Cuddles was a little late to the party. He could have uh, <laughs> murdered me as I soloed those things. What if he did? Oh, come on. Can I, can I not get in? Oh, there it is. You can't enter while mounted. Mm. You know what would be really freaking cool? I wander in here. There's a group of players. They're all downed, and I can just execute them and take all their 8.4 gear. All right. Let's go. Group dungeon mod tier 4. What the heck? I was in a tier 6 zone. Why are they tier 4? What is going on? What's up with that? All right. These guys actually give decent fame, but let's see. In the Avaro- only 4k- Oh, No, but they draw- Oh, tier 3 helmet? No, gross. That's nasty. People need to stop feeding the damn- Uh, stop feeding the freaking black market tier through tier 2 and tier 3 gear. I know it's good money, apparently. Apparently, I don't know. Shoot, that's a video too, I'll just do that. Uh, <laughs> Oh, man. Ouch. If I teleport out, that's 16k, which is no no Gucci. Is this... Uh, that is to another road. Road. Thirst Water Gully. Hmm. I actually am thirsty. I should probably go there so I can drink thirst water. It's water that dehydrates you, which would just be salt water, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. I am very surprised that I have survived this long on video. What has happened to West? Did West get neutered? Is everyone just chill now? <laughs> Where's the roving band of, of road raiders? Where did they go? Either way, though, like, I'm. it took forever to kill one of those mobs, and I only got 50k fame out of them. I can go AoE down static mobs and get, like, 15k per mob and do 10 at a time, so... Yeah, and do it risk-free without any, like, panicking and worrying about people running up on me and even though I don't have anything worth a damn. I don't know, it's whatever, man. It's whatevs. 25.161. That's, uh, that's what our combat fame credit listing is. Man, this, I am I feel like crap, man. I, I want to make a concise, nice, clean video with some nice data to teach people how to play. And, you know, just show them, like, Black Zone's bad. And then I go and get a legendary chest. <laughs> and then I go and get another chest that's not legendary, but worth just as much, apparently. I don't know. Where is it? What, what, what zone are we going into? Thirstwater Gully, one person has entered. It is a tier 3, 4, 5. A tier 7 Black Zone. Okay. Thirstwater Gully, tier 7 Black Zone. What is happening in Thirstwater Gully? There's a chest. In 17 minutes. 
I ain't fucking waiting for that. Dude, it sent me all the, all the way over here. There's Thirst Water Step. There's a tornado going on in this one. There's a lot of hideouts. What is going on? Why are there so many hideouts? What does the tornado mean? I don't know what the tornado means. I want to go investigate. Tier 7s. I guess we're just going to roam. Like, I, I, I plan to die really early in this video and just make that the video, and I didn't. So I'm stuck forever. Just doing a long play session. Just, what what, what do I title this? Albion Online Gameplay. Albion Online Black Zone Gameplay 2023. <laughs> oh no. Oh, someone went offline. That was my game, not yours. That little boop noise. Okay. I don't, know, I don't remember how to turn that off. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You won't remember in 10 years. Let's just kill a little mage real quick. A little tier 7 mage. Just take him out. See what we get for it. I know I made a video on this exact topic. 5,002. 1,223. Why would you farm in tier 5 black zone? You can just come here. Why? Who wrote that guide on Reddit? How dare they? I mean, it's funny when you see someone write a guide on Reddit and they're a new player. Like, I've only been playing three days, but here's a guide on how to do stuff. Like, hmm. Yeah, you, th you, th you wonder. Let's kill this guy. See, this guy's enchanted. I'm gonna get booped out of my mount. I am now tender and juicy for the gankers to come slay. But hey, we're pretty deep, you know? This is a pretty deep zone. Okay, let's heal. That's getting a little risky. 13k and 2.7k silver. See, look, just far... I hear noises? I guess it's the skull. Hmm, I want to see what the tornado thing is. Look at that, a boss? Oh, these bosses suck. They freaking cast... I forget what they cast, but they're really annoying to deal with. I have to kill the archer, too. Oh, I'm rooted? They can root? Bro, that hurt. Oh, I'm, like, stunned? I am dead as heck. I'm just dead. Like, <laughs> saving mercenary. Yeah, these guys catch themselves on fire, man. Like, I don't think I can take this in my current gear setup. Yeah, he catches himself on fire. I ain't dealing with that. So, let's get our mount back out. Get a little safe. I could maybe do Rejuvenating Sprint and probably do this. I don't know. It's a, it's a tough fight. It's, it's a pretty damn tough fight. So we're going to cast that, cast that. Not get hit by that this time. Cast this, and then kite the hell out of this dude. And heal every chance we get. Especially this. Oh, oh he's running. He's full running. How do you... Like, unless I sit on my mount for that. How am I supposed to survive? I guess I got to save my W. I can't, I can't win this fight. I don't have the gear. See you later, bro. See you later, bro. I don't know why I call him Bo. What the fuck? Well, what does that mean? Yeah, I definitely can't win that. It's a shame, too. That would be juicy. But not juicy, and I'm just too weak. Even with max specs, 4.1, not cutting it. I would, I'd need a different build. I would need a better sustained build or, you know, something with immunities. So, Tornado, what are you? You are a energy vortex. Unless in one hour. Also, why are some of these blue and some of them red? I don't know what that means. Does that mean I can just walk in there? What do we have here? 4.4 fiber. That unlocks in 27 minutes. I think that means I can just enter their hideout. I guess I'll do that. Let's just go into some random dude's hideout. <laughs> they can't attack. They're safe zones, so they can't be attacked in them. Let's go look around. Ooh, what do we got? Ooh, he's harvesting stone, I think. There is a... Oh, hidden treasure there. I'm gonna get it. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Watch me get it. Yoinkers. 1.5k. Pay the tax. Pay the tax to the tax man. Hmm. What else can we... We can go here to your six zone. Oh, we can just, we can just go to Limhurst. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? I rode all the way to Limhurst. Just to say hi. A lot of enchanted mo and a boss monster too. Not bad. So are these just open to the public? What does the blue top mean? That's I'm pretty sure that's what it means, right? Or does it mean they're vulnerable to attack? Whatever. I don't. We don't. You just cl you click the door. Oh, yeah, you click the door to go in. <laughs> you just have to like wave, and I'm like, hey, let me in, dudes. Gladiator Helms hideout. What do we have here? We have people, and they're like, what is Soul Benji doing in our hideout, bro? <laughs> what is a, what is this celebrity? What do they have for sale? Nothing, huh? 
Oh wait, no, I have the filters all screwed up. Yeah, got some deals for you, stranger. So, oh, no one's currently selling those. <laughs> uh, store some stuff here. What, what, what you got? You got beds? People, what are you doing with the beds, dude? Kind of weird. Someone built this. What are you wearing? I don't like, I don't like what you're wearing. You're like, you got a fishing helmet, but you have a, a fucking cleric robe. That's sus. What's this guy do? Buy, okay, whatever. Ooh, Command Mammoth. Hell yeah. Oh, we can buy these. That would be stupid to buy them here, though. I don't know why you would. Well, let's... I don't know what to freaking do in this video. I don't know what this video is. But uh, let's just get out of here. Let's just freaking... Let's just end the video already. Let's just... Let's just teleport out of here. 5k. Oh, no. It's going to teleport me to the hideout. No! I really... Bro... Walking in that hideout locks you to the hideout that... Oh, no. Lesson learned, I guess. Can we make the journey home? The perilous journey to save 80,000 80, silver? Bro, 80,000? <laughs> yeah, I'm not... Dude, this, this ain't worth it, man. I, uh... I, I guess I'm just gonna give this hideout my stuff. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to do here. I'm gonna consume all that. And, uh, we'll just go into the hideout. Is, is this guy gonna dismount on me? That would be kind of funny, wouldn't it? Alright, well. Is there not a repair guy in here? Yeah, there's a repair guy. So we're just gonna strip down. As one usually does, you know. And, uh... <laughs> repair it, and then we're just gonna sell it to their market. And, uh, if no one buys it, whatever. So, you know what? I'm gonna give you guys a deal. You guys can buy this for 12000 Soul Bidgey special. I know. I'm generous. Alright, you guys can buy this for 45. It's half off. You buy these for 100. That's half off the other dude. Here you go. Uh, 1,000 silver. I know that's worth way more. How about for 20? Yep. Here you go. 1,000. Just buy it for 1,000. I'm giving these for free, essentially. <laughs> I'm aware I could salvage all this stuff. Please, I want to sell it for zero dollars, please. Oh, well, it's fine. You know, we made our million earlier. Okay, yeah, just, just sell everything for a thousand. I don't know. <laughs> Here you go, 69 on the boots. Get a real deal on that one. Oh, and the horse. Of course. A horse, of course. You know, we'll, we'll do. 69, 69. <laughs> and now I can travel planner out of here. I'm pretty sure that's how that works since I have no stuff on me. Should be able to leave, to never leave. come back. Yes, ready to leave, indeed. Let's get, let's get the heck out of here. Go bridge yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go. All right, we made it. We made it safely out of the black zone. <laughs> uh, messed up a little bit at the end there, but we did it. What is my? Oh, uh, well, we got twelve thousand favor. Not bad. Very cool. So there you go. I don't know what this video is. I'm so busy. Thanks for watching. As always, be bro, stay swole. And let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know about these little snowshoes I've got, little bunny shoes. I don't think they really match my character's um, pigment, but it's fine, you know. <laughs> it's fine, I look goofier every day. We can summon the snow, yes. And other players can see this. I want to know what happens if you get like 100 people and you all use the Santa hat at once. The Santa hats are super cheap, they're like a couple thousand silver, so... Fun times indeed. Uh, make sure that you become a channel member. Click the join button down below. Five bucks a month. Get access to private more personal videos. Uh, way more useful than this one. And uh, also subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Click the video on the right side of your screen. I'll see you next time. Take care.